For this problem, we are given a diagram and we are asked a couple questions. We are told to find the current I2. We are then also asked to find the voltage VD and find the current I0 or I0. So when I look at this, I'm going to break this apart in my mind into two parts. I have this left part here and I have this right part here. The easiest thing that I can see right now is to find our V right here. And when we find this V, we are going to be finding the voltage right here. It says to find VD, but it says in the answer to find the V triangle so or V delta. So that is what we're going to do. We are going to be finding V delta. And if we look at the notes linked below, in section three, we have the formula that we can use for a circuit that looks like this, where we have our resistors. We have two resistors in parallel. We have a initial voltage, and then we have a voltage that we need to find. This formula is going to look something like this. We're going to have the voltage we want to find, and that is equal to the initial voltage, which here is 60 volts. And this is being multiplied by our closest resistor, which is 5k ohms. And the 5 stands for 5,000. So this would be 5,000 ohms. But I'm going to leave it in here because we're about to see what we're going to do with it. So underneath this, we are going to have our R total. And our R total is going to be the total resistance of these two series. That means we're going to have our 1k ohm resistor plus our 5k ohm resistor. That means we're going to have a 6k ohm resistor down here. So what we can do is cancel out our k's, cancel out our ohms. We can see that we're just left with resistance. And then we can get rid of this 6 right here. That means we are going to be left with a 50 because a 60 is going to just turn into a 10 after we get rid of the 6 by dividing it out. From here, we can see that our delta V is equal to 50 volts. Next, we want to find the current in I2. To find the current in I2, we are going to look which way it flows. To do this is look at this left side right here. We're given a voltage and we're also given resistance. And we know that we have the formula voltage is equal to current times resistance. And then if we reword this, we have voltage divided by resistance is equal to our current. So all we need is voltage and current. Well, we have our voltage, which is 60 volts. And we also have our resistor. I think I said current, sorry. I meant resistor. And our resistor is 6K ohms, with, again, the K meaning 1,000. This is going to be equal to I. And if we plug this into a calculator as 60 divided by 6K, 6,000, we're going to get that I is equal to 0. 0.01 amps and that is our answer for I2. Now we're going to find I0. To do this we are going to look at the right side because that's where I0 is. We have these two resistors in parallel and we also have this current right here. Well we're going to use something similar with this formula right here. We need to get the voltage and multiply it by the resistance and then we will have our current. Since these two resistors are in parallel, we are going to have to combine them to actually do this. To combine them, we're going to have to use the resistor formula, and that is 1 divided by our first resistor, which we'll just use as 10k here. And then this is being added to our 1 divided by the next resistor, and then all raised to the power of negative 1. We do this, we are going to get the value of 400. So we have 400 ohms of resistance total on this side right here. Now, all we need is the voltage going through this. Well, we're given the current just to the left right here, and we know the resistance, so we can calculate the voltage. We're going to say our voltage is equal to our current, and we know our current to be 6 times 10 to the negative cubed times v delta and we just found our v delta to be 50 so we're going to have this in here and then it's being multiplied by our resistance which we just found also to be 400 ohms this diagonal can be a little bit confusing the diagonal with the arrow in it but what it means is current and it's pointing in the direction of current flow if we plug all this into a calculator we are going to get that our voltage is equal to 120. so the voltage for this entire area is 120 
and we know if a circuit is in parallel that the voltage is the same across all of them. This is from the notes that we have linked below. You can look at that. So now that we have our voltage and we have our resistance, we'll find our current. We're going to set our current equal to the voltage, which is 120. And since we want to find the current of I0 right here, we're just going to set the resistance as 500 since we're just looking at this area. So we're dividing 120 by 500, and this is in ohms. And after we do this, we're going to get the value 0.24 amps. We need this to be in milliamps, so we can't just leave it like this. We have to multiply it by, actually, I'm sorry, we have to divide it by 10 to the negative cubed. Because if we look at the formula linked below in the notes, we're going to have 1 milli is equal to 10 to the negative cubed. So we can just tack on our amps right here. So after we plug this into a calculator, we are going to have a 240 milliamps. Before we actually finish this problem though, it's important to note that our voltage is flowing this way, right? And our current is flowing down this way. Initially, it looks like they're going to be in the same direction. However, they are not. I'm going to draw the voltage in blue, but if we go along this way, like this, then we go along this way and then we go up here we can see that they're in opposition and since our voltage is going in the opposite direction as our current this is going to be a negative so it's super important to note that we have a negative 240 here that is our part c while our part a is 0 0.01 amps part b is 50 volts again our c is negative 240 amps and that is how we do this problem, as well as the correct answers for it. If you found this video useful, consider giving a like. If you want more material related to this subject, there's a playlist down below with more examples and practice for this. If you have any questions about this example or anything related to it, you can leave them in the comments down below. Good luck on your studies. Peace out. Okay, bye! That was cute. Really wop. <laughs> Shut up. It's a it's a it's a measurement. Yeah, yeah. Really what even wop. Stop with I don't even know what that's about. I know like Gen Z does it. Milli wop. What the hell is a milli wop? I don't know. Okay, stop with your milli wopping. Okay. And after we do this, we will get the correct I can't even with you. I'm so it's so funny, but it's so stupid. Okay, stop. <laughs> Half. Okay, can I get back? You done? Okay, stop. You're making us laugh more and then I can't do it. Okay, don't touch me. Stop, man. What the hell? Okay, I just literally, it's almost done. So, stop. What? I didn't even look at Okay, 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 okay. What do I do with your own I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously, stop, 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 okay.